Live from Orlando, Florida, it's theCUBE. Covering Accelerate 19. Brought to you by Fortinet. Welcome back to theCUBE. Lisa Martin with Peter Burris. We are coming to you live from Orlando, Florida. We've been at Fortinet Accelerate 2019 all day. Peter, what a day. Our third year co-hosting theCUBE at Fortinet Accelerate. We heard a lot about industry leadership, product leadership and innovation, uh, partner success at Fortinet Accelerate. What are some of the things that really stuck with you from the keynote all the way to the end of our interview segment? Well, I was going to say first, put a fork in me. Um, the, uh, here's one of the things that I've observed. I've, I've been doing the analyst thing and been a practitioner in IT for over 30 years now. And uh, it's amazing the degree to which security people uh, are often some of the smartest people you meet and some of the most straightforward people you meet. And partly that's because they are paid to ferret out nonsense. It's very, very difficult to fake security. Uh, and uh, it just is. Um, if there's one thing that even more than the last couple of years just struck me today, perhaps it's because we're coming more familiar with Fortinet, is how smart these guys are. How smart they are, how informed they are, how well-spoken they are. I mean, the interviews have been a breeze. I learn something from every single one of these Fortinet uh, interviews. So that's probably the first thing I'd say. The second thing I'd say is um, the Fortinet has taken a different tack. We talked about this in the, in the open. They have acknowledged or they uh, believe that having a degree of control over the underlying hardware is going to be a source of benefit to the customer and a source of advantage to Fortinet. And they continue to push that. And it appears pretty clear that they made a good bet in that regard. Uh, we heard a lot about how a lot of new products are being placed on top of that platform, on top of those appliances, a lot of additional functionality, but it also is pretty obvious that the ecosystem is growing faster, even in many respects than Fortinet is, in terms of the number, the amount of invention and innovation that's happening, and that's in part made possible by having a platform that's just higher performant. Uh, and if there's one last thing that I'd say is the degree to which Fortinet has made, I talked about this a second ago, but made good bets. And it appears clear that they're going to continue to make good bets. Bringing full circle smart people that get stuff done in a domain that's absolutely essential to business are in a position to really shape the way that all this digital business transformation and digital business evolves. And Fortinet is punching above their weight in terms of how they're influencing the directions of the industry. They are punching above their weight. I think you mentioned that during one of our interview segments. I think they're proud of that. I think their confidence in what they're delivering and their history of being able to be pretty good at predicting what's going to happen was evident from the keynote this morning where they showed a number of times where they are from an industry leadership and a market share perspective, calling out the names of their competitors, showing how much, how far they've come, how much their customers are benefiting, how much their business is growing as a result. So that confidence uh, and pride was evident from the first time the CEO, Kenzie, stepped on stage this morning. And I think we heard that throughout every interview segment today that you and I did with their leaders and some of their partners as well, that there's confidence there that they know what they're doing. To your point, I agree, there was a lot of clarity of message. It's a very, security is a very interesting topic of conversation because it's pervasive across every industry. There wasn't, the interviews weren't interchangeable. Each of them bought their expertise to bear and had something really interesting and useful to say. But at, it's at the core, you can see that the culture is thriving, that the, you know, obviously it's a great TAM, it's a great uh, total addressable market that's growing. There's a lot of excitement inside the Fortinet employee base about the possibilities and the role that they're likely to play and, and are playing. Uh, and, you know, we, they talked a lot about Ken at Davos and some of the new, uh, some of the new uh, alliances that they've been able to put together and, and influence. I mean, it's just, a, it's a very good story in a market that is increasingly important. 
that's a potent combination uh, for theCUBE and for customers overall. And they've done a great job on the education piece. Education was, you mentioned Davos, that was an interesting kind of nod back to what they talked about last year at Accelerate 2018. Educate, education, ecosystem, technology, and those are the three pillars that were discussed at Davos as being essential components for safe and secure digital transformation, which they even said at Davos, hey, there's the potential here in the next 10 years for digital transformation to unlock 10, can't be million, uh, maybe it is, a huge value for businesses, for society, and they said, hey, Fortinet, we talked about these three tenants last year. We talked to John Bogue just a little bit ago about how they are actively educating the channel from their VARs to help them become MSPs to MSSPs, their distributors, how they're really educating, helping to mitigate some of the ostensible cybersecurity skills gap that we've talked about for a very long time, but that's a, very, it's a dedicated uh, business model for them that, hey, they want to drive preference with their partners. Everybody has choice, customers have choice, partners have choice. They've put a very, um, strategic and evolutionary focus on evolving that so customers in any industry have the opportunity to leverage security as, as a best practice and as a benefit to their business. And there's a degree of altruism for why they did it, because they recognize that there's three and a half million open cybersecurity positions in the world, but they also demonstrated how smart and practical it is to try to take that leadership. They want to become more competency-based. How, okay, great. Now, what does that allow you to do? It allows you to have your partners, your partner network, connect independent of you to create solutions independent of you, still based on your technology and based on your capabilities and services, but to engage customers in faster ways that may not necessarily involve you. Okay, so competency leads to new partner arrangements. Well, that also leads to more complex kinds of customer relations that generate greater value, greater service, all with the certainty of trust behind it because you've done a better job of articulating what constitutes competency in an extremely complex domain. So it's a, it's a, it's a really interesting story. They've, they've clearly taken some best practices that we've seen emerge in the industry over the last few years and applied them anew in a company that's growing quite fast, and a market that's growing faster than any other in tech. And this is largely, uh, this event, Accelerate, I think Derek Menke mentioned this is his seventh, so around the seventh or eighth Fortinet Accelerate event that started, its history was as a partner conference. Obviously it's grown tremendously, but there's still a lot of partners here. I would love to hear next year from the voice of the customer, of a customer who has faced these challenges. We were speaking with one of their partners, uh, it'll come to me, it was Siemens, who was talking about, hey, Together, Siemens from an OT challenge and opportunity perspective and Fortinet can help a customer transform and converge IT and OT in 30 days in a harsh type of environment. That's huge. I would love to hear more stories like that show the impact that customers can make by addressing these challenges and leveraging these technologies to not just react to threats as they come all the time, but to eventually become proactive and predictive. Well, the, uh, uh, the World Economic Forum, uh, Davos, uh, Fortinet put up a couple charts that showed uh, how the World Economic Forum is basically putting cybersecurity at the center of a lot of the new economic activity associated with digital business. And we would tend to agree with that. That's a very, very important feature. If, if for no other reason than just this notion of trust becomes so very essential. And so, you know, Fortinet is in a position to make some crucial, to, to really have a strong influence on how this industry plays out, to make some pretty decent money. They're, they're generating more patents than 80%, I mean, I don't know what the number is, but three times as many patents in the segment that they're operating in as anybody else. A lot of innovation, a lot of dedication uh, to doing that kind of stuff. Uh, but I think it is important for them to take on more of the customer. You and I were talking about this earlier. They did it, you know, this conference and the keynotes and the conversations spoke to network administrators, 
network pros, security pros, partners, and we would, we, we both believe that digital business outcomes are going to be tied into, as World Economic Forum does, that core cybersecurity capability of a business, that a business has. And so it would be nice to have them feature more customers, but also to do a clearer job of take, you know, pulling that thread from outcome all the way to technology, because the market needs that. It's not clear to a lot of people what really is the relationship between uh, investment in cybersecurity and how that translates into new classes of business value that are going to have a long-term implication on how markets operate. Yeah, and it's got to be, we got to hear more than scalability, flexibility, and speed. Those are obvious, but how are industries being, and businesses being transformed? I know they are. So. Well, look, we can, we can boil a lot of that down to that, that simple word trust. I mean, we heard it a lot here. If, you know, there, there has been an erosion of trust in a lot of the most important institutions that we operate under. And if that continues, that's going to create a whole bunch of problems looking forward. And so having a brand have a trust associated with it in a physical, as well as the digital world is going to be a major determinant of whether or not a company is going to be able to transform and take advantage of some of the new technologies and approaches to doing business in the future. That's a great point. Well, Peter, I enjoyed co-hosting theCUBE with you at Always, our Lisa. third Fortinet Accelerate. Appreciate all your insights and your time. You too. Thank you so much. We want to thank you for watching theCUBE again. We've been live here at Fortinet Accelerate 2019 from Florida, Orlando, Florida. For Peter Burris, I'm Lisa Martin. You're watching theCUBE.